Shields up, Ironbreakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. Today we're going to be going to the Volcano Manor, finishing off that quest, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it is the red letter that we received. We're turning that one in. And then we're going to be continuing to progress throughout the um, Mountains of the Giants, or whatever it is that they're called. We're going to be trying to find that fire. But before we do that, I wanted to talk to you guys about loose ends, things that up until this point I haven't really been able to figure out. Now, I've been playing the game off stream as I've been telling you, but it's mostly just like doing exploration of things, uh, you know, things that I consider to be a little bit too boring to be included into the Let's Play itself, and therefore I just do it off camera because I don't want to bore you guys. Stuff where I will spend like maybe hours running around a certain section of the game trying to find something, and a lot of the times not even succeeding. Because that's just the way these things go. Now, one of those things that I actually ran into today is this. Now, this is the plains where we fought Radon. And if you look down there, there is a Colossus with a magical halberd. And I'm not sure how I will eventually get there. I don't want you to tell me. You know, if I find it, I find it. If I don't, then I'll look it up after we're done with the playthrough. But I haven't figured out how to get there. That's one of the loose ends that I have right now. You guys are wondering, what even got you to look at this? And it's because I've been doing the paintings. And this one right here, the red main painting, depicts a picture that, uh, you know, shows red main castle in the distance. And it shows these uh, structures. And you can see those structures right there. And I'm pretty sure that that is the location where the painter was. But if I jump from here, I'm going to die. So I don't know if there's a teleporter that brings you here or what the deal is, but I haven't been able to figure that out. On the flip side, I have been able to figure out uh, some of the other paintings. So, for instance, this right here was one of the paintings, and this gave gives you a, um, a faith miracle, a pyromancy, whatever you want to call it. But it is in this location. I will show you which painting that is. It is this one. And this painting, once you go to that location that I just showed you in the map, is going to give you this. Fire's Deadly Sin. Incantation originating from a deeply ominous prophecy sets both the caster and the surrounding area ablaze with raging flames. The caster's body will remain engulfed in flames for a while, burning them and any who draw near. Charging enhances potency. The prophet despaired, looking up at the earth tree, for soon the kindling would burst into flame, bring in ruin. The burning of the earth tree is the first cardinal sin. That is not the domain of mere men. Interesting. That, this is the spell that I found there. As it is kind of related to the quest that we're on right now, we're supposed to burn the thorns off of the tree. And this is the cardinal sin, not the domain of mere men. And Shabriri said that we should burn ourselves. So it's interesting that I found this thing. I wasn't necessarily looking for that particular pyromancy. It just happened that way. Then the other painting was this one. No, this one we found uh, on an episode earlier. I think it was episode 70. The other painting was this one, the prophecy painting. Now, this painting was over here. From here, you can look and you can kind of like see Stormvale in the distance. You can see Stormvale right here. And there's the waterfall that is like somewhere around here. And you can just like line it all up perfectly. And there will be a painter there. And that painter... That painter gave me something that made me want to like rage. He gave us... Where is it? He gave us this. Now, if that seems familiar, it's because this is one of my most hated creatures in the whole goddamn game. Ashen remains in which spirits had well used some of the spirit of Warhawk, spirit of Stormvale Warhawk, the talons of which have been sliced off so that the razor-fine swords could be grafted in their place. With its lord vanquished and its wings wounded, the hawk perished as it solemnly gazed at its former home. 
the storm is a warhawk's cradle. Not to mention it looks like it's got the, um, the flaming pocket that they have uh, so that he can, like, spit fire and whatnot. I hate this creature. I hate it. And that's what that painter gave me. Now, there's a couple of more things that I want to bring up to your attention that bother me quite a bit. One of them is actually over here. See, if... Wait, shall I go this way? No, I'll go this way. See, there's an item there that I still haven't figured out how to get. And I've spent... I kid you not, I've spent hours in this zone. And I actually... You know, I've, I have the belief that this particular item, you might be able to get it later. So maybe you're not supposed to get it yet. But the reason this one bothers me so much is because it is an important item. It is a very important item, because, like, if you look, it's got, like, a yellow hue to it. That item off into the distance, which usually denotes important items. And one of the things that I've noticed is that there's a branch, that one, that's got ants on it. You're supposed to be able to get onto that branch, but for the life of me, I can't figure out how. So I don't know how to get onto that branch, which means I don't know how to get to that item. Now, if you guys remember, there was also a cave, like, somewhere around here below this waterfall, and there was a big rune bear in there, and there was an item there too. I figured out how to get here. So you can actually climb up on top of this branch, go all the way over here, and then jump off, and then jump here, and you can come here, and there's a hole that lets you go down and collect the soul and wooden, the item that is there. But um, yeah, that's that item. That's another loose end that I still haven't figured out. But I suspect that potentially... If you look, we're currently exploring this area. So, I believe that we might eventually find a map where we'll actually be here and connect to this area and then come back. Maybe. I'm not sure, but this is the area that we're exploring in right now. So it would make sense to potentially come back from another path and get that item. So that's something that makes sense. And then... Another one that I'm not going to get into too much is this one, Lightseeker Hieta. I still, again, I've spent hours combing this zone, have not found the Shibiri Grape that I can go back and give her. Maybe now that Shibiri is here, maybe if we do a certain quest, maybe it'll give us another one, and maybe that will come into play. I don't actually know. And finally, uh, one more that is really, really bothering me. Uh, oh, wow, I even... I have these markers here. Ignore these ones. But, uh, yeah, th this was because of something that I was trying to figure out. But, um... I couldn't actually do it. Which, uh, I suspect that there's still stuff that is going to be happening over in Landell. That is going to open it up a little bit further. But, it's this. That door. Especially after Shabriri told me, go to the capital and commune with the three fingers or whatever it was that he said they're deep underground i've been combing this thing and i haven't figured it out so there's this door here that remains closed and there's that grate there that remains closed and yeah it's uh extremely frustrating and then you can even see that item over there and there's like a pit that falls down into that item but that pit is closed on the top because i've been topside and it's actually closed I also found the snail, which was the thing that was making the noise that I believe I referenced when I... Was it episode 70? I think it was episode 70 when I went to the Lyondell Catacombs and I said, I keep hearing this noise. I found the origin of the noise, which means that the dude's no longer... It's one of those snails that creates illusions. But yeah, I killed it and there was like... I think I got a charm for it. It was like some kind of a lightning charm. I think it was this. I think it was the Bolt Drake Talisman plus one. It was either that or the Hallowed Drake Talisman. It was one of these two. Honestly, at this point, I, I don't really remember perfectly, but it's one of these yellow ones that, that was plus one. Uh, also, while we're here, I'm go ahead and get that. But yeah, these are just some of the... Uh, some of the loose ends that I still haven't figured out how to do. But now we're going to go to Volcano Manor and turn in that red litter.
that I've been waiting for a while now. I haven't been able to record uh, over the last couple of days. So even though for you guys, this is like a continuous series, I haven't actually played for a couple of days because my throat's been killing me and it hasn't actually improved much. I've been speaking uh, too much. I've been doing too much commentary. But hey, I want to get through the game, obviously. I want to play the game, so in order to maintain the blind playthrough, we got to record. So let's talk to... Uh, ta also, another interesting thing that I've um, realized is that Lady Tanith's mask. Let me grab this. Is very reminiscent of the Marais mask. Which, if you remember, we- wait, I can't actually do this while I'm doing- oops! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we have the Marais mask, which is this one. You see it? There's some similarities to it. And the Marais mask had a description which was, and the image of a white-haired young noble, even though hers is not white-haired, it's like golden-haired, whatever. Customarily worn by the head of House Marais, Priestess Arcane, the Marais family has a dual history spanning generations, serving both as executioners and castellans of the Shaded Castle. This mask bears the likeness of the first of their line. Makes me wonder if uh, she is from House Marais. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Let's just talk to her. I see that you've stayed the path of champions. This is your usual reward. Please, take it. Thank you. Taker's cameo. Perhaps you are ready. Might you see our lord? Our lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit, treading the path of champions. I mean, why not? Yes. As it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's Chamber. Why do I have a feeling? Wait, what? May your visit be fruitful. I got a feeling that this is going to be a boss fight. Where are we? Dude, I wonder what it's like to enter the Volcano Manor from potentially another side and actually doing it as a dungeon. If that is even a possibility. Bump that vigor! Bump that vigor! Alright. Now let's go lose these uh, 1,000 leftover souls, shall we? Serpent Hunter. Great Serpent Hunt. Great Spear. Pierce. Weapon that serves as both Great Sword and Spear. Thought to have been used to hunt an immortal Great Serpent in the distant past. In the distant past. It manifests as a long blade of light when facing such a creature. And their master's heroic aspirations degenerated into mere greed. His men searched for a weapon with which they might halt their lord. Perform a forceful... A powerful forward lunge and follow up with an upward thrust via additional input. When fighting a great serpent, a long blade of light will appear, revealing the armament's true power. You're supposed to use this weapon for this fight. What's the weight? Twelve. The the re the reason you can tell you're supposed to use this weapon for this fight 
is the requirement. Like, if you look at this weapon, look at the re attribute requirements, zero. It has zero for everything. So that it's like, no matter which build you have, you can use this spear. Now the problem is, this is going to set us back in terms of weight. Significantly. Jesus Christ. Can I at least get some goddamn pants, please? How about these? Yeah, these will work. Eh, uh, these are not particularly... These don't really work with our set. How about these? These will do. I don't think we'll get to ha we get to have gloves though. I mean, we might if they're really, really light. Which ones were like the lightest gloves? Heron sorcerers would be the lightest thing. There, no helmet. Alright, let's see if we can talk with him or if it's just like boss fight mode straight up. Okay. Oh, damn! I guess I'm winning. There's no way that this is just what you gotta do. Is this really it? No. No way, dude. This doesn't make any sense. This has to be like a phase one. I mean, look at this. I guess you were supposed to do the finisher with the spear as well. Notice this, we still don't have the souls. I don't think this is going to work anymore, is it? Let's 
let's try it again. It still works!
it was actually pretty easy. It was actually pretty easy. It's just like I was overthinking it. The main thing about it is that you got to remember that you have a lot of space and the fight, while it feels really overwhelming, it's actually not. Remembrance of the Blasphemous. And that's it. That's probably the entire usability of this weapon. That's gone now. <laughs> I would imagine you can't really, um, I'd imagine you can't really like upgrade it or anything because that's usually the way it goes. That's nice. The storm ruler of this game. Hey, what am I doing? Stop. Give me this and give me my hammer. Oh, there's me hammer. All right. There's an item there. I mean, I lost my souls. It was like a thousand or something, and I didn't, I didn't feel like wasting the time to pick them up every time. 130,000 for that, huh? The eye surcoat. What's so special about this? Brown surcoat draped over chainmail. The insignia emblazoned on the front marks out the wearer as the eyes and ears of Sir Gideon the All Knowing. Huh. Why would I find that amongst the... Why was... He was scouting the Volcano Manor. Why was he scouting the Volcano Manor? Lost race discovered. So, very much... Oh, Melina is here. There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that. Not even you. I wouldn't dream of it. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Please do. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Your thoughts. Your ambitions. The principles you would follow. Thank you. It's not every time that I get to do that. But, uh, yeah. I appreciate it. I don't want to sacrifice you, Melina. I would rather burn myself. But we shall figure out how to do that. Let's go. Wait. People have left. Two people have left. The scout? Oh no, and there was a- oh my god, and there was another character there that I forgot to speak to. Crap, I might have missed out on that quest line. Because like, I've, I've, you know, I've been playing off stream, and I saw another character in the manor. But I obviously didn't want it to talk to that character without it being on- I keep saying on stream, this is actually offline, but whatever. Uh, there was another character- oh, I think it's gone. Yeah, it's gone, I was here. Crap! It's all my fault. God damn it. But yeah, this character appeared in here during my... my visits of the thing, but... Wait, this guy is still here? But Rhea left. So... You killed Rikard. Yes, I, I did. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. Such is our code. 
So does that mean Even I'm the leader now? He prepared to meet a wretched end when he first took blasphemy onto his very flesh. But any road, the Volcano Manor is no more. Though we may yet fulfill an old promise. We hunted our own kind and took what was theirs. And with everything in hand, the time has come to rise against the Earth Tree. Oh, greater will, hear my voice. I am the recusant Bernal, inheritor of my brother's will, and you will fall to my blade. We refuse to become your pawns. Consider this fair warning. Oh, greater will, I am the recusant. We refuse to be. Okay, so Rhea's gone. The other character that I know was here is also gone. Damn it, I'm so sad. It was like this snake-like creature that was hanging out there. Future playthroughs, future playthroughs. You, it's true then. You've defeated our Lord. No, I must thank you. Our Lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our Lord is immortal and will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then, I must stay the path and do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. This is farewell. Perhaps we will meet again along the path. This is perhaps... Okay. You got something to say, Patches? Now you've gone and killed Rykard. <laughs> You scheming little bastard. Cripes, you make this nonsense seem, well, <laughs> less nonsensical. Perhaps a tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. But for now, this manor is finished. The demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, here I am, untethered, once again. Goodbye, my friend. What is it? Oh, come to make a parting donation to Patches Emporium. Uh, I mean, Patches is going to leave the area, so I guess I'll grab the stone sword key that he's got. Not that I need it, but... Might as well have it. Cheers for that. What is it? Oh, come to make a Cheers for that. Okay, so he's leaving. She's leaving. The other guy no longer sells me stuff. What's this? My thanks. You no longer sell me anything, right? Oh great. I am the rich nope. refuse. And if you will no longer sell me stuff, can I open this door finally? Let me just see if anything else is going to happen upstairs. I doubt it. And then we're going to rest and everything's going to change in Volcano Manor. Yep, nothing here. All right. Let's rest and see what happens. As predicted, she's gone. Patches is gone. And I would assume all the other NPCs are gone too. Is this door still locked? Yes it is. And everybody else is ditched too. Ooh, he left a sword behind. Sword of Bernal. 
I can just learn skills from his sword. Okay, dude. <laughs> Fair enough. I was wondering how they would handle that. If you're just gonna leave and like, well, hope you got all the items you wanted. Cause if you didn't, he's gone. Okay, everybody in here is gone too. So, the other thing I want to see now. Uh, Radon, Godric, Morgoth. Oh, right, these are the ones that I can already use. I want to look at the ones I can't use yet. Also, we got to see what items we can get from this. Remembrance of the Blasphemous. Remembrance of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, hewn into the Earth Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by a finger reader. Rykard took the form of a giant serpent that he might devour, grow, and live eternally. Is this a reference to Ouroboros? I understand. The Road of Blasphemy. Not Ouroboros the Creator. The Ouroboros the Serpent. Which is like serpent eating its own tail. Road of Blasphemy is long and per perilous. One cannot walk it unprepared to sin. Where are the unused runes? Here it is. Rykard's Great Rune. Great Rune of the Shardbearer. Seek the Divine Tower of West Altus, which stands upon the precipice at the coast of southwest of Lyndale. Yep, I know where that is. So we can go get his rune. That is over here. See, again, like, the game guides you all every step of the way. Like, they tell you, oh, we go to the, the tower west of Altus. Okay, thank you. Okay, door now opens. We're gonna go upstairs, claim his rune, then we're gonna head over to the round table hold. Figure out what's happening there. And at this time of day, the top of this tower is going to look friggin' gorgeous. Aw, oh, they put- there's mist now, god damn it. It wasn't misty when we started riding the elevator. I hate the mist! Too much goddamn mist, dude. Oh my god! Bloody marvelous. Boom! Rykard's Great Rune. I wonder if the tree would deny me if I had all of the runes, because it kind of feels like if you have all the runes, then the tree wouldn't deny you anymore. But I could be wrong. Restores HP upon defeating enemies. Ooh. Card was among the children of Renala and Radagon, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen Marika. But Ricard fed himself to the Blasphemous Serpent. Wait, he fed himself to the Blasphemous Serpent. Could this be a, like, um, a parallel between Adam and Eve? How the serpent told Eve to eat the apple? Except in here, they just went a little bit further with it. So like, I'll just sacrifice myself to the Great Serpent. Boom, done. Notice how on every one of these towers, there's two fingers. Two finger influence can be found everywhere. About the three fingers. Three fingers is the real importance. Either way, now that we've done that, like I said, let's go check out which items we can get at round table. Hold on. And then we can continue progressing northbound. Hey, Fingers, are you scared? You should be. <sighs> oh, 
oh wow, she doesn't even talk to me anymore. You're not gonna give me one big speech about the runes that I've gotten and all of this? Okay. Uh, receive equipment of champions. There's nothing new. Okay. Membrance. Blasphemous Blade. It's got fire damage. It's got Taker's Flames. Raises the Sacred Sword aloft to set it ablaze with Blasphemous Flames and bring it down to fire off a forward blast. The flames steal HP from those they touch. Sacred Sword of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, remains of the countless heroes he has devoured writhe upon the service of his blade. Now they share the same blood, bound together as family. Some HP is restored upon defeating an enemy. You could make a beefy lifesteal build using these items. Uh, Sacred Sword of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy. Never mind, I already read this. Um, terrible power of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, summon searing spirits that leave a trail of the late explosions in their wake. These spirits manifest from the rancor of heroes who met the violent end. The Lord granted them an audience, whereupon they were welcomed by the maw of the Great Serpent, and within the serpent's bowels they became the Lord's kin. Okay. We're not taking that. Now go forth. Let the work. Screw the fingers. Give a damn about the fingers. I want to talk to this guy right here. Sir Gideon Offnir, the All-Knowing. Tell me more. Uh, you. What is it? There are four more Demicola of this. His twin, Malik. Luna Princess Rand. The one on Rani is said to have cast a saw so here at the hold. If you should learn, I'll trade you. We both deserve as such. Find the Albino. She hides in a cave. She knows. I already did that. So he doesn't have anything new to say. Okay. So I guess that at this point, as you defeat the lords, there's not that much advancement with any of these characters. There hasn't been for a while. I'm just always curious to come back and check in on them. But okay, it doesn't seem like anything else is going to change here. So, it's time to head back north. And naturally, there is a place that I want to go to. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Because we have been here already. Um, which way is it? I think it's this way. Yeah. And I want to go up, um, up that spirit spring. See what's up there. I'm not going to be fighting this dude. Because, like, last time we came through here, we fought our final target here. And you guys remember that there was a spirit spring there, and I did say I want to go up there. And it's funny because we're going to finish this episode pretty much on the same place as the last one, but I wasn't planning. I wasn't expecting that we were going to be fighting the Lord of the Manor. So that's my excuse. But this is where it ends. up here the mountains thank you all very much for watching if you guys are enjoying the blind playthrough of elden ring make sure to hit it up with a like make sure to subscribe hit the bell notification icon all that jazz i'll see you guys in the next one stay strong stay safe peace out